Hey gang, Steve Angeline here. I have another short training video for you. So let's jump into it. So yesterday, um, within just like a matter of hours, I got two different calls from two different agents, one in Texas, one out in California. And they both asked me about the same question, but a little bit of turn on it, right? They called me, hey, can you give me some information about uh, mailing Fizbo's? I heard you had some success. How do you do it? And, and so forth. But ultimately it came down to the one question. How long do I have to mail before I get, and one agent said, get a listing, and the other agent said, get a call back. And it immediately, when I answered those questions, I said, you know, um, two serious agents, um, you know, one kind of brand new, one, one been around for a while, but they both had the same question. And I felt that I should make a video because it's the wrong question that you need to ask because you want to know a time frame. How long before I get a listing? How long before I get a call back? It's not a time question. It's a quantity question, a percentage so when you mail, and especially FISBOs, what our data shows us is that for every 100 FISBOs you mail, on an average of approximately 10 weeks, so two and a half months, okay, you're going to get back between two and four contacts back, either a phone call, a text, or an email. I've gotten all three of those. So again, let's repeat that number. For every 100 FISBOs you mail, for a total of 10 weeks, again, some might only be one week. Some might only be you mail for one day and they've gone off the market. The longest I've ever mailed somebody and got a listing was 37 weeks. So our average is just under 10. So the question is, you do that for 100, you approximately mail for 10 weeks, you can expect back between two and four contacts, okay? So that's like at the beginning of the year when we're coming out the slowest months. For me, it's December and January. We're just starting to build up. Come December, I'll have maybe four or five FISBOs I'm mailing. Come January, I'll probably have six or seven FISBOs I'm mailing. And then it starts to build. And it's the same question I asked my son, who does all the tracking of the FISBO, sets up all the mailings, is that on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, at the end of the day, I asked him, how many FISBOs did we lose? How many are we mailing? How many do we add? Because I know I got to start building that number to get to 100. Okay, if I'm only mailing 25, do the math. I need 100 to get 2 to 4%. So if I'm only mailing 25, I maybe got a chance at one contact coming back. If it's 50 that I'm currently mailing, I, I'm going to have approximately maybe two. So it's real important to understand your percentages. That's like cold calling. You can talk to anybody in any field that you want about cold calling, no matter if it's real estate or selling, selling gutter protections or windows or whatever. It's about 1% a return back for the calls that you make that you have a good conversation with. Not just a F you, get off my phone or that or a hang up or, or a recording. It's a good conversation. So mailing is a harder, a higher return rate than cold calling and texting and, and all that, but it's a quantity, okay? I had somebody call me, an agent called me and said, she told me, she goes, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I have mailed 40 FISBOs consistently and I haven't gotten a listing. So I slowed her down and I said, uh, okay, let me make sure I'm on the same page. You've mailed a total of 40 so far. She goes, yeah, my list is 40. It's, it's about two and a half months worth. Uh, I mailed them and I haven't gotten a listing. And I says, you're continuing to mail them. Yes. I said, okay. And you haven't gotten a listing. I said, if you do the numbers, two to 4%, you've only done 40. 
you're somewhere maybe in that one to two phone calls back that you should have. She goes, oh, I got four. I go, whoa, you've gotten four contacts out of 40 mail. I said, man, man, I said, you're functioning at, at that on 100 at about six to 8%. That's great. She goes, yeah, but I didn't get a listing. And I said, well, okay, out of the th four contacts you had call you, how many listing appointments did you go on? And she said, three, and I didn't get a listing. I said, I said, look it, I hate to tell you this, and you're probably going to be offended, but stop blaming a 45-cent postcard for the sake that your listing presentation probably sucks. And she didn't take too kindly of that, and she hung up. <laughs> okay, so, hey, truth hurts, right? The truth hurts. Okay, so getting the contact back is one thing, but then it's your skills. If your skills are not good in a listing presentation, you're probably not going to get that listing. So maybe you want to take my whole listing presentation course at getlistings.org. Okay, it's like 97 bucks. I cover everything from A to Z. Well, that was a good old fashioned plug, wasn't it? But that'll help you. So again, how long do I have to mail a FISBO until I get a listing or until I get a, a, a call back? Wrong question. It's a quantity question, which turns into a percentage question. So hope it helped. Kind of put things in perspective for you. Agents are notorious, okay? Notorious for trying something and, uh, oh, it didn't work. On to the next thing. Oh, that's it. That didn't work. I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore. You got to get in. You got to get dirty. It's a long game. Stop jumping from one thing to the next. You know what's got to get done. Get your work done and get after it. Hope it helped. Just a thought. Have a great day.